Hello, welcome to another tutorial. So what we're going to be making is an AI chatbot using the OpenAI engine, where you will just um, mention it like this, and you can ask it any question you want, just like on ChatGPT. So pretty cool. You just uh, add it and then write a question and then it will answer it. All right. So uh, first thing, I recommend watching the other Slack tutorials I have. If you are um, never made a Slack app, they'll help you get started. Um, otherwise, uh, you can go to this page, apislack.com tutorials slash tracks responding to app uh, mentions uh, page. So have a read through this. It'll show you uh, the code in um, Python. How to use it we're going to be using something called socket mode um, which makes this a lot easier to to do i spent quite a long tr time trying all the other methods and this is definitely the the easiest and fastest way to get uh, a slack bot up and running and the really nice thing about uh, using the tutorial page here on slack is you can click create app and then um, you just select your workspace and um, it will add all of the um, the required scopes of your bot um, already. So it makes it a lot easier. And you can change um, this name, mention bot, and the, um, the profile picture later as well. So don't worry about that. So just click Create. OK. So once you've created it, uh, you want to install it to workspace. All right, perfect. So next you want to go to socket mode and, uh, let's just disable this for a second. All right. And enable socket mode. And now give this a name. Um, we'll just call it testing and click, uh, generate. All right, this token right here, the Zap uh, token, very important. Make sure to copy this and uh, save this for later. You'll see this XOXB right here in OAuth tokens for your workspace right under the token with XOXB. So just uh, get that one for yourself, copy it and save it. Okay, so uh, you have those two Slack tokens. Uh, one other You'll need an API token from um, from OpenAI. So if you don't know how to get that, just check out my other video. It's uh, super quick. You just uh, go to this uh, site like beta.openai, um, and then there you'll just need to make an account, um, enter a card, and you'll get an API key. All right. So first, we'll just have to enter all of our imports. So you'll need um, um slack bolt um you'll need uh, um another one called slack bolt uh, dot adapter dot uh, socket socket mode uh import socket mode handler um, and then of course you have to import, uh, open, open AI. All right. And make sure to, uh, in your terminal or command line to just, uh, uh, pip install all of these. So pip install Slack Bolt, pip install open AI. Now we're going to make a new variable. Um, we'll call it app and we'll set that as app and then put token equals. And in here, you will put that um, that token I mentioned earlier to get from Slack that starts with uh, like XO, XB, and then whatever, you know, whatever goes here, numbers and letters. So get that token and put it here. All right. Um, and then you'll need your open AI um, API key. Open AI API key equals, and then whatever that is, uh, paste that in there. 
So you'll get that from when you make your OpenAI account. Okay, now that we have those two, you can just write um, chatbot equals OpenAI dot uh, completion. And now we'll have to handle uh, events that will happen on Slack. So you can also use um, slash commands. There's a lot of cool things you can do with slash commands. Um, but for this video, we'll just do app.event. Um, and the event is app mention. Um, and you can get this same, uh, this part of the code is also in that tutorial that Slack made. Um, okay. That's where I got that from. So then you just uh, define function here. So hello command, um, and you'll need to pass these um, parameters in. Forward, I'm going to write uh, here something to say, and I'm going to just put hello world. So this is where you can get um, your Slack bot to say whatever you want it to say. And now we just need to run this. So you just uh, write this, if name equals equals main, then you put a uh, socket mode handler, uh, put your app as the first argument, and then this is where you would put that other um, token I said to save, um, the one that you get when you turn on uh, socket mode, um, the zap token. So just uh, do that and then write uh, start. All right, so if you run this and you have all of the right tokens, um, you should you should get a hello world whenever your um, app is uh, mentioned. Um, okay, so we're going to test it now. Uh, make sure to add it to your channel, whichever one that is. So search your um, the name of your app. Here we go, mention bot, add it in. And, uh, and now let's just run that um, code. Oh, so we had a bit of a typo. Um, let's just add a space here between. Okay, so now it's uh, it's working. Um, so let's test this out. Let's write a message. So we'll write a message at mention bot. Um, hi there. And you can see it's replied, um, hello world. Um, so that's great. Okay, so now instead of uh, printing hello world, let's see if we can get it to print the message that we wrote back to us. So I'm going to write, uh, turn whatever is in uh, this body um, thing that we're getting whenever app mention uh, gets called. So let's just um, let's just say that and see what what happens. So let's write a much longer message like hi, how is it going? One, two, three, four, five, six. I am good. Um, Lorem Ipsum. 9,000, let's see what happens. All right, so you can see that it prints back the entire body and we have a lot of, um, all we really need is to get back the this part, the text from this long message. So let's see how to do that. All right, so I already went through this, I know, um, where we need to go to extract just the message body. Um, so you just need to, it's kind of long, 
but if you write it like this, you should get the same output as me, which is the message body. Okay. Yeah. So this should just get the message body. If you run that, um, now we get into the fun part. So you can use your, um, this, uh, chat bot we created earlier. And uh, just select your engine. Um, so there's a couple of engines. I'm going to use uh, text DaVinci 3, which I believe is the most powerful one right now. And uh, for your prompt, this is whatever question we want to ask, um, ask OpenAI, we're going to use this um, string. So let's set that to a variable. We'll set it to uh, AI prompt equals that thing. And we'll pass that in here, AI prompt. Um, and then uh, you just need to pick your max tokens. So higher this is, the more expensive you can possibly spend per um, per prompt. Um, I'm going to use a thousand, which roughly uh, from their websites as translates to like 750 words. Uh, final thing is now we just need to call say, um, and we'll we'll write uh, for it to a string the response we got and then we just need to extract the the best response which is choices zero uh dot text okay uh so that's pretty much it just make sure to fill in your tokens here and your bot should be working Okay, so let's test if it's working. We'll say, hi there, um, how are you doing? You doing, welcome to the Slack channel. Tell me about yourself. Oh, okay, it looks like we have an error. This shouldn't be a uh, body. It should be locks. I Okay. Yeah. So just change this to be like this where it's uh, blocks. I put body for some reason. Okay. So I fixed it. Let's see if it works this time. Okay. So I think I just realized I made one other mistake. You also have to add another, um, another elements here. So zero, zero elements. And this should be good now. Let's fingers crossed. All right. So hopefully third time's the charm. Let's have a look. All right. It looks like uh, it's working. So, so it works just like, um, so like maybe, um, uh, well, some VBA code to make a Christmas tree in an Excel. Let's see how it does to this. So yeah, works exactly the same as uh, chat GBT.